So in part one, I talked about the astrology of the first successful nuclear fusion reaction that happened on December 5th. I want to continue the conversation with the focus on how we've seen this technology portrayed in the media. So the day of this reaction, the moon was conjunct Uranus and the north node in Taurus. Uranus is the planet that rules artificial intelligence, artificial power sources, technological innovation. It's the modern ruler of Aquarius. Saturn, who's over here in Aquarius, is the traditional ruler of Aquarius. That is the inventor, as well as the control measures. So in Spider-Man 2, this technology is depicted when Dr. Octopus, who I view as Saturn and Aquarius, the inventor, successfully ignites an artificial fusion reaction, which is then used as a power source for his AI-powered tentacle cyborg attachment. The only thing stopping this AI tentacles from taking his body over is the inhibitor chip in his neck, which eventually breaks. So when I see the Department of Energy say, today we celebrate this historic achievement with our scientific, academic, and industrial partners, I know damn straight that includes military industrial partners. Fusion, the reaction happening in the sun, is the technology responsible for the hydrogen bomb. It's incredibly radioactive because when all of these atoms are merged or fused together, they become incredibly heavy or radioactive, having way too many extra neutrons. The result is a highly unstable molecule that then begins to break down, releasing smaller radioactive particles. Basically, it can get really messy if it's not properly controlled. This type of technology could have serious radioactive implications for the planet if it is not maintained properly. Another astrological concern for me is this Pluto-Lilith opposition in 26 degrees of Capricorn and Cancer. When you really look at the intensity of energy that's generated from a hydrogen bomb or a fusion reaction, that is the intensity that is ruled by the planet Pluto. Intensity capable of incredible amounts of destruction. There's a lot of nuanced implications to a Lilith opposition. So on one side, if you are working with Lilith or personally venerating her in any way, there is a lot of potential for incredible amounts of personal power and growth in this transit. And this is an image I just posted like last week. But Lilith is a master of inversion. And to be frank, she can be very cold and destructive. So there's also an element of complete chaos and destruction to this transit. I certainly hope that the military industrial partners are aware of the weight that this technology holds. With all that said, this should not scare you, it should excite you. The fate of humanity and the environment could drastically improve thanks to this technology. I'm excited to watch this develop.